if you consider the area of this plates be a and they will be kept a distance apart that is d initially we consider that air is the insulator or the vacuum our aim is to calculate the capacitance of this parallel plate capacitor to do that we know the formula to calculate capacitance we must know the charge and potential potential can be calculated by using the formula electric field times the distance between the two plates so now here if we find the electric field then we can get the value of potential and substituting here in this equation we get the value of capacitance now if you remember we have studied already that in between two plates the uniform electric field will be existing provided the plates are very large otherwise at the ends there may not be uniform by using gauss law we have already calculated if the charge density of this is plus sigma and it is minus sigma we have studied how to find the electric field if you keep one unit positive charge here because of the first plate it repels because of the second plate it attracts as it is independent of the distance the two electric fields will be equal and they are in opposite direction therefore the net electric field will be zero same is the case on the right hand side of the second plate now what happens in between the two plates so if you keep the positive charge here it repels in this direction and it attracts therefore the two will be added together we know the formula e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught due to first plate and this is net e we are calculating sigma by 2 epsilon naught due to the second plate and final answer is sigma by epsilon naught this exercise we have already done it in the applications of gauss law now once you know the value of e now i can write in place of sigma the charge per unit area and if i multiply it by d then i'll get the potential so v is equal to e times d now this is sigma by epsilon naught d whereas q by a epsilon naught d this is the value of potential if i substitute in this equation c is equal to q by v the value of v as we obtained q d by a epsilon naught then it gives me a beautiful result epsilon naught a by d therefore the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor depends only 
on geometrical quantities area and distance between the plates how do we represent the capacitor it is two parallel lines having equal sizes how do we represent the cell it is with two parallel lines but one bigger and one smaller this is the difference between a cell and a capacitor this is the cell here you can see that it is positive and it is negative this is capacitor even in capacitor also if you observe the two legs one will be longer the other one will be shorter this is positive and this is negative battery will use the chemical energy to construct the battery the toxic elements are required it is very bigger in size whereas capacitors are very small in size both are used as energy storage devices then what is the use of this when it is made with the toxic chemicals and very big in size then why don't you replace this cell by a small electrical element the capacitor to show that why we cannot replace we'll do one activity in the lab and then we discuss is the battery eliminator which can vary in step 2 volts 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 i kept it in 10 volts here i have taken a device and i have connected it to positive and one end of it as negative now when i switch on this device gets charged let me charge it for some seconds after that i'll connect that device to this led what you have to observe is now let me switch off i hope that capacitor is charged you would have seen that there is deflection in galvanometer it proves that capacitor is charged and by making it it is getting discharged after seeing the activity you would have come to know that the cell provides a steady current whereas the capacitor will be discharged when the light bulb is glowing in our activity so capacitor can supply the instantaneous energy and immediately it will be discharged whereas the cell continuously supply the energy constant energy and a steady current is supplied by the that is we can draw the steady current through the cell so a cell cannot be replaced by a capacitor in future it may be developed in such a way that a capacitor can replace a cell why do you want to replace the cell because it is made up of chemical substances and once the cell is used we have to throw it away then the toxic elements are thrown 
that's the reason why we wanted to replace it but we are unable to replace it because of its own advantages so if you analyze the result of this capacitance it is beautiful i said why did i say the capacitance which is equal to epsilon not a by d is purely depending on the area and the distance between them it is neither depending on the charge stored on the capacitor nor the potential difference of the source with which it is charged that is the advantage of this capacitor so let me demonstrate the capacitor action of capacitor parallel plate capacitor and how the capacitance of a capacitor depends on the area and on the distance to do this i have got some plates here so if you look at this area and you look at these plates this area is much more bigger than this one so we will try to compare forming the capacitor with these two and forming the capacitor with these two and then the bigger one so first and i can measure the capacitor with the help of this meter so this is called lc meter with this lc meter i can measure the capacitance so now let me connect the negative here and then positive here and let me switch it on now you can see some number so this is 0.05 now if i move these two plates bit closer then you can observe that the reading should have been increased okay now i'll make it very close now we can see the reading as 0.09 this i have set up in nanometers so we have verified one factor that by decreasing the distance between the two plates of parallel plate capacitor the capacitance is getting increased keeping the distance again we will show the same but this time with larger plates now you can see the capacitance is 0.07 now the reading is 0.11 if you remember the distance in the earlier case it was 0.9 has come now it is 0.13 so a fact which is proved that if you decrease the distance or if you increase the area of parallel plates in the parallel plate capacitor the capacitance gets increased is phet colorado animation to understand the working of capacitor and what is capacitance now here in this i have taken the capacitance of this as 0.3 picofarad so first let us charge this capacitor with the help of a battery now you see when i put this at zero level there is no charge appearing on the plates now there should be some potential difference so when i increase this potential difference you are able to see the charge on the plates is also increasing so we know that q is directly proportional to v 
so that is the first point that we can see when the potential difference is lesser the charge is also less when the potential difference is more the charge is also more now after charging this capacitor we will connect this capacitor to a bulb we have already demonstrated this in our activity what you would have observed there the bulb was blown instantaneously and it has blown off the same effect here we are going to see through the animation let me connect this capac capacitor to the bulb now you see the bulb started glowing and it is off instantaneously let's watch it again let me charge capacitor this time with more potential difference so that the bulb can be long lasting when compared to the previous case now it is charged so this is the first part of it now what is the electric field in the capacitor we have already described that electric field is uniform you can see here the uniform electric field which is represented by parallel lines so we have proved it with the help of gauss law in between the two plates having the same charge density the electric field is uniform now this circuit will also help us to find out the direction of current we can see the direction of the current now when the potential difference is more it is in one direction and if the potential difference is varied in the other direction now with this we can also find the potential difference between the two plates now here you can observe that this potential difference is 0.600 volts now with this animation you can see the charges the upper plate is positive now the lower plate is negative now if i change the polarity then this lower plate is positive the upper plate is negative with this animation we can also find what is here the capacitance is 0.3 picofarads now what is the charge on the top plate it is 0.16 picocoulombs now what's the energy stored in it we have already derived the energy stored as half cv square with that you can calculate it is 0.04 pico joules that is 10 to the power of minus 12 so with this phct animation we are able to visualize the charges that are required by the plates in the capacitor the direction of the electric field the direction of the current and what is the potential difference that is existing between the two plates and we have already seen the charging and discharging charging means when the plates of the parallel plate capacitor is joined to the battery it gets charged now when you shift this to the bulb then the bulb glows instantaneously and then it blows off so it is a very nice animation 
I am really thankful to the PHAT Colorado lab through which we are able to show this simulation.